The Nigerian Senate has commenced debate on the general principles of the 2024 Appropriation Bill before the National Assembly. President Balatinobu had on Wednesday presented a budget of 27.50 trillion naira to a joint session of the Senate and House of Representatives for consideration and passage. Christine, the budget of renewed hope, the 2024 fiscal document is planned to address critical issues and to grow the country's economy and end its security woes. On Thursday, the first of two days set aside for deliberations on the second reading of the appropriation bill, the senators for hours discussed the modalities of the budget. Leading debate on general principles of the budget, Senate Majority Leader Okweyemi Bamidele said the proposal is extended to further place the country's economy on the path of inclusive and sustainable economic development. It is important, above all, to know that this is a budget of renewed hope which seeks to achieve job-rich economic growth, macroeconomic stability, a better investment environment, enhanced human capital development, as well as poverty reduction and greater access to social security. Finally, Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, I believe that all the proposals in this 2024 appropriation bill are laudable and will enhance the critical needs of the citizens of this country. The debate had senators drowning their attention of the executive to certain areas that needed some tweaking to enhance the economic growth. I want to emphasize on the fact that how do we fund this? The bitumen global market is 147 billion dollars. Only nine countries are participating. Mr. President, Nigeria, by geophysical data of the World Bank, is the second largest depositor of bitumen in the world. You know, in those states alone, 47 billion dollar bitumen is deposited there. So establishing development, the Bitumen Development Commission will help us to fund the budget accurately. Not now, even between now and future. But the top of it, I would like to, and to have the House know that I look forward to interacting with the Honorable Minister of Steel to know how much of this, of the 30% of 27 trillion, 27.5 trillion, how much of it he's able to put, uh, have captured the rehabilitation again of Ajakuta Steel Company and the Niamco Iron uh, iron ore plant. When we were dancing about the PIA, we thought that after signing of the PIA, Nigerian oil and gas sector will become rosy. But since the implementation of the PIA, bigger problems started. Companies started to leave, leave the country. Even as of today, more international companies are leaving. We have to look at the PIA, especially the fiscal and the regulatory part of it. The upper chamber continues deliberation on the 2024 appropriation bill tomorrow, Friday. Uh, having exhausted all the items on the other paper, uh, we the this Senate is hereby adjourned to Friday, the first day of December, 2023 at 10 a.m. prompt. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.